morning. You know, you know that Chris Evans? Yes. He's gone and left skid marks all over our studio. What? Look, look, this is what he, he did. Can you see? We need uh, to get him to sign them. That's what, yes, like, like his, his old desk. Like his desk. And TFI, we'll get him to sign them and then we can auction off the flooring. Yeah, is exactly, that danger money. Honestly, that's, we'll danger there was money. a real panic in our ear. And I think in Chris's car, when, yeah. the, when there was skidding happening. Oh, I think he thought he was going to end up in the Thames, <laughs> straight through the window. Uh, now, after their roller coaster of a setup saw Phil and Terry battle with the weather, find themselves without enough soil, <laughs> and have a near miss with some electrical wires, Unbelievable. we can now go live to them both to A, see if they're alive. Yes, fingers crossed. And B, to see if they've managed to get our allotment ready in time. Come in, guys, your time is up. Thank goodness. <laughs> right, five or six days later, hail, <laughs> snow, sunshine. The sun's out now. Finally, we are ready to go. And I'm going to ask Terry to do the grand opening of our this morning allotment. Over you, Terry. I declare this morning allotment open. <laughs> hey! Hey! Bravo! Bravo, there bravo. It is. There it is. <laughs> so... As I said, five days later, some 20 tonnes of soil gone in and come out. We're finally here. Let, let, let me take you through it. Terry, come this way. It's so, be pointing. in this bed, what's going to go in here, Terry? They're already in, all the root right. crops, beetroot, carrots and uh, more carrots. Three types of beetroot. Yeah, a white one, a red one and a yellow one. one yep, yeah. and then two rows of carrots. Two rows of carrots, OK. And then along the end, we've got some lettuce and some radish. And some strawberries that hang and over the edge. strawberries that hang over the edge. When will we be eating these? Uh, about 10 to 12 weeks, so weather permitting and help of Mother Nature. It's pretty quick then. Yeah, it'll be very quick and you better look after them. Open this way, folks, this one here. So this bed then, what have we got in here, Terry? What have we got in here? This is the legume bed. Legume. What's a legume? Anything which is peas and beans. We'll right. have a backdrop of runner beans, the rope peas, and then some dwarf French beans in front, and more strawberries hanging over the edge. Right. In the unraised beds, you go that way, Tell. I'll go that way. In the unraised beds, what, what have we got in here? This will be brassicas. What's a brassica? Brassica is ending cabbage. Right. So the far end, we've got the cabbages. Yep. Next to them, we've got the cauliflower. Flower. Then we shovel we'll chard, and then we'll decide what we're going to put in this end piece of entry. Ruby chard, I love. Ruby chard, we've got. Right. And when we're eating these? When you're eating them, you'll be eating those cabbages in about eight weeks, yep. and the cauliflower in about eight weeks. You'll be eating them while I'm cooking for them over here. This bed? This is mainly going to be the potatoes. Yep. Hoodies, second hoodies, and main crop. Yep. They're busy planting away. Yep. And along the edge will be all the squashes, courgettes, and pumpkins. Come this and way. And they'll trail over on the path. I need to just say this point Adam and Louise do all the work. I just turn up and make it look nice. Well, so, thanks, guys. <laughs> now, I've got to draw attention to my shed. I love my shed. There is all the tools that go into there. If it's raining, I can dip into there as well. But the fact is, it's just what I needed. But over to my greenhouse, and this is the piece of resistance. Look at this. Very lucky to have this. It works. Some things we need to grow in the greenhouse, so things like chilies and tomatoes. Terry will explain a bit more here. So, Terry, what are we growing in here, then? What are we going to do, yeah? There's the runner beans, which will go at the, at the base of those canes. Yep. There's your dwarf French for the legume patch as well. Yep. They're going to go in. Behind this end, we're going to put strawberries in grow bags. In the corner, nice and warm, we'll grow cucumber. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Cucumber, cucumber, and then on the staging in pots, we'll go your chilies and your peppers. So these are chilli plants here and as yeah, well. We've got some peppers. So things it. like soft herbs like basil need to come in here because the wind yep, will get them out. The, the basil lacks is a great deterrent to great play. Brilliant. So, yep. Right, come outside. So what we've also got is a little area where when the sun is out, we can have a cup of tea. Cup of tea, I should not a cup of tea. That way, sorry. Yeah. So the plan is, in the sun, we'd better cook here as well. So vegetables straight off the pot. We have barbecues. We have a nice umbrella up as well. See if this, the sun's uh, out or if it's not raining too much. And I've also got these for you. Terry, one for you. Thank you. This is our cup of tea to say thank you very much. Look at that there. Cheers, Tell. Cheers. Very good help. And also, we've got two here. So, when you make your appearance here to give us a hand to do the weeding in the summer, you can have a cup of tea as well. Yeah. Ah. Although, I won't be holding my breath. <laughs> I'll be down there in a shot. Oh, Bill Vickery, don't you, you worry about that. 
I'm gonna. Yeah, I want to see you actually doing some work rather than getting everyone else Just to do it around you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit of this, bit of that. You do not have a dog and bark yourself. I keep telling you that. <laughs> it looks amazing. Well done, guys. Yeah, well done well to done. all the team. Can't wait Thanks. to go there. I really can't wait. And to get the produce from down there and into the kitchen here, and for us to be able to eat it as well. That's one. Of, that's the key thing. We want to be sustainable. I feel it's amazing. On the back of that, I just need to say thank you to everybody. Adam, Louisa, John, Terry, everyone's helped us here. Jimmy, the whole lot. Because I'll tell you something now, this could not have happened without these guys' hard oh. work. So I thank them all, and I'm really looking forward to having some proper, decent veggies this summer. And I'll be cooking for you as well. Cheers, Kel. Well, well done, guys. Fantastic. Lovely thank you, stuff. guys. Thank you. And only eight weeks till we get been getting the cabbages in there. I can't well. wait. I Amazing. love a cabbage. Yeah, and the tomatoes from the greenhouse, the smell of tomatoes in the greenhouse. Oof. Very summery. Right. Four. Tom, Tom.